So usually for me, these types of movies, I, I say to myself, No, don't like that. But did senior year surprise me? What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Senior Year is the brand new original film on the platform today. We're going to talk about it starring Rebel Wilson. She's back in high school. Let's, let's talk about it. So a cheerleading stunt gone wrong landed her in a 20-year coma. Now she's 37, newly awake and ready to live out her high school dream, becoming prom queen. We're going to start with the rating. As always, this is rated R for sexual material, language, and brief teen drinking slash drug use. So not for the kids unless they just sneak and watch it, which they might. And things have changed 20 years later at this school. They're not a big fan of the idea of prom king and queen. I'm sitting back going, well, ho, 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 okay. Prom kings and queens are cool, right? Are they? No, you see, I cropped out the other person. There's a reason for that. It's review start and petty. And the beginning of this movie, as much as I love the actress that plays young Stephanie, she was from the Nice Guys and Spider-Man. She's awesome. And it was... Really cool to see her embrace this type of role, playing the younger version of our main character, giving us a little insight into how things worked 20, 20 years ago in high school. Now, clearly, things have changed. The way people act, the way people talk, and high school has changed drastically as a result. So we get to see the differences both in the way people operated in general and then the way the cool kids operated against the not-so-cool kids. And specifically, Stephanie being someone who, as much as we're supposed to want to root for her throughout the movie, was not a very good person in high school. The way she treated other people and just just the ideas presented in general, I'm sitting back going, am I supposed to root for her? Because it's really, you're making it tough. As much as I love her, the actress, you're making it tough to root for. And they're introducing elements at the beginning. Characters, you know immediately where they are going to go and how things are going to end up. And ideas presented that will inevitably come back into play. And some weird camera techniques, man. Why are we getting Dutch angles? And I understand it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable in the midst of this conversation, but it's literally a conversation between two cheerleaders in the bathroom and we're getting these stylistic techniques and I'm sitting back going, can we just get some normal looking camera? I know I'm getting nitty-gritty in the, in the details, none of this really matters in the grand scheme of things, but when you're not laughing or when you're not responding to the humor in a comedy, you start to think about these types of things. I wouldn't have been complaining about the Dutch angles if I was enjoying the content presented, but I was really just not on board with the tone and the ideas and uh, just the style of this movie in general. I, when's Rebel Wilson coming along? Maybe she can provide the spark that's needed to get me to like this movie. And then the coma happens. No one really freaks out or anything. We flash forward 20 years later, she wakes up, and of course, it's the fish out of water type of humor. Sometimes I like it, other times it's really, really awkward when she wakes up and she's like, oh, the TV's flat now. And I'm thinking, oh, it's because she's from 20 years ago. That's... Yeah. Now we're in the future. She's trying to figure out where is everyone that I knew back then? Where are they now? Where is the guy that I was, you know, planning this perfect life with? I had a crush on. Uh, and the moment she discovers where he is, she jumps out of a moving car after waking up from a coma. You have to be on board with the tone of this movie. Uh, suspension of disbelief throughout most of of the film. The way people act, it just feels unrealistic, and the idea of her waking up from a coma, there were emotions, but you would think they would last a little longer, and we immediately start playing things for comedy. I get it, it's a comedy at its core, but the cheesiness of some of these jokes and not giving our characters time to breathe and allow everything to soak in when she wakes up, that for some strange reason, I'm like, ah, I get it, we're playing it for jokes, but ah, it just feels so ridiculous at its core, but make the jokes funny. If you're going to joke in the car right after waking up from a coma, make them funny. Now we're in the future, or the present, and for some reason they're, they're playing songs that aren't from 2022, like Remember the Name, and they're probably going back and playing songs that she grew up with, but some of them just didn't fit 
with what was happening on screen. And then we get to see what school is like now. And, you know, while certain elements felt real, like the way people interact and talk to each other, other elements felt like they were just thrown in for the sake of being thrown in. And it didn't really feel like the way high school does actually operate now. It felt like a a, a version of high school that's played up for the drama or played up for the humor. So, and again, I'm not supposed to be sitting back and complaining all of, and again, I'm not supposed to be sitting back and complaining about all of these things, but I just didn't really respond to the humor, to the script, to the predictability, to knowing where these characters were going, to Stephanie as a character, because she's continuing to treat people that way. One character in particular, Seth, who is just doing all of the right things, she is throwing him under the bus consistently, and I like the idea of him understanding that when he's older, but even then, I, I just wasn't on board. And it continues to play these things for comedy. Now, eventually, we get some nice emotion. There were some emotional beats in the third act and some lines from her father, played by Chris Parnell. I don't think they explored the relationship. We get one scene between the relationship with her mother, how that's carried over in her life. Uh, that wasn't there enough to give us those emotional stakes. And when we get the emotions at the end, it was good. But the best comedies for me are the comedies that have a nice balance of emo... But the best comedies for me are the comedies that have a great balance of emotion and humor. You're laughing, you're feeling something. And I just never felt that way. And then the way it all wraps up is so conventional, followed by the final scene of the movie, this huge dance slash cheer number that I saw coming. I'm sure you saw it coming. Everyone's getting involved. And it really makes no sense because then she performs the move that she performed when she was younger 20 years later that got her in a coma in the first place and everyone's just like, woohoo! I'd be like, don't, wh what are you, what's wrong with you? Get off the stage! I just, and I shouldn't be feeling this way about any of this, but I just, I wasn't laughing, so I had time to think and probably make breakfast. Look, I know some people don't like Rebel Wilson. I think she's funny. I really enjoy her on-screen presence. But at the end of the day, well, before I give you my score, thank you guys for being here, for watching this review. We're talking all things Netflix all the time. And if you like this video, let me know. It helps the algorithm. Rebel Wilson provides a spark, but this script is so tonally inconsistent. They never capitalize on the idea. And the final product is messy. Like I said, at the end, there is some heart but it wasn't enough. I'm going to 30% with my score. Uh, some may hate it more than me. Others may find it funny and, and charming in parts, and it's not without its charm. I think most of that is the cast, but like I said, it's just, you know, it, it's that kind of movie. It's going to be hit or miss for some, and it just didn't work for me. You guys are the best. Thanks for being here. I'm going to my brother's college graduation, so it was his senior year. Okay.